Today we're looking at the circle. It's a characteristically Maya technique, but at its heart, it's a very simple version of a Krumpau. Let's take a look at the big picture before we focus on the individual details. In the first step, we come into a bind via an attack or a defense. We lift our blade to make space for ourselves, and then we cut around with a Krumpau, and then flow off with the circle, stepping out to the side with a cut. Then of course we withdraw. The simplest part of the technique is actually coming into a bind. But first, I'll need an opponent. The bind itself may have been established through a number of means. We could have attacked, parried, or simply been following on from another technique. The key parts are that we're closing the line and we're threatening our opponent with the blade, so they're compelled to engage with our sword. The second motion is a disengagement under their blade with a Krumpau. In a normal Krumpau, we step out to the right on the opponent's inside line. In this case, however, our right leg is already forward, so we remain in place with the hip turn. We lift the blade because we're under their sword, and we cut around with the false edge to their right ear. By keeping the hands high and turning under the blade, we stay well protected, and that hip motion gives us a little bit of speed and power and compels them to react to our attack. The final step is the motion which gives the technique its name, as we flow off in a circular motion with a high cut. This should all be one smooth action from that Krumpau or Kurtzau under their blade. By stepping to the outside line and leaning, we're taken out of the way of an effective counterattack by the opponent, but we can still target their head or their arms depending on which is in reach. First, we enter into a bind. From here we need to create an opening. We lift slightly, and if they take their blade out of presence, that gives us room to cut around with that Krumpau, circle off, and cut with the high cut to the head or the arms, and then we retreat. Cover in the bind, find the opening with provocation, circle out, and withdraw safely. While training, try to consider the failure modes of your techniques. A foul technique should still leave us in a position of advantage, just with a different name. If the opponent retreats and fails to engage our blade, we can simply attack with a Kurtzau or an Ox Thrust. If their parry prevents us from circling, we can simply shoot through and wind to the outside. This technique is reminiscent of Maya's side sword, but I find it equally effective with a long sword, and it's actually a really good sparring technique. We can also do the same technique without the initial bind. In this case, we just initiate with that crooked cut under, then circle around. Maya uses a very similar motion in one of his plays from Ox. If your opponent is prone to chasing the blade, you can use that initial cut around as a deception. The cut around becomes a feint, and then step out with a triangle step along the same line you were originally cut on. Feint around, cut to the same side. Finally, if the opponent doesn't allow the disengagement, you can still use that false edge cut, and this is Maya's Duplirin. The Duplirin is accompanied by a step out to the opponent's inside line. And that's it. Now you know the circle. Thanks for watching.